Lulu's swimming lesson. This is Lulu's third swimming lesson in the big pool and she is getting used to the routine by starting with her kicking on the ledge. Kicking is the main propulsive force in early infant aquatics and is often accompanied by a wriggle, a shake or a double-legged dolphin or even a little frog kick. Moving through the water held firmly by mummy is a favourite activity Where's as the Lulu chases what coloured color floating get, balls. Lulu? Oh, what colour is this one? What colour is this one? Oh, reach out for it. Reach out for it. Where's the ball? Where's the ball? Preparing children for submersion is still a very important part in early aquatic development. Lulu has been doing this activity from birth and is becoming quite used to uh, what we call the conditioning for submersion process. As the child becomes comfortable having water poured on their face, teacher Emma introduces a new activity where the baby gets tummy time on the mat. The child is not held, but is able to put their hands on the mat and push up while having water poured smoothly over the face. This activity is a great one and can be incorporated into a circuit for the class. This activity not only conditions the baby for submersion, but builds upper body strength as well as strengthening the core. Here, Emma places Lulu on the mat with little Noah. One of the many benefits in infant aquatics is the opportunity for not only the baby to socialise, but also mums to gather and socialise during and after the swimming lesson. This socialisation is fantastic for new mums who sometimes suffer mental anxiety on the birth of their child. It gives them an opportunity to meet other mums and compare how their little bundles of joy are progressing. So good. Go on. Take it on. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Lulu, ready? Go. 